Hello everyone and welcome to the first Java CV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some simple basic programs in Java CV. First of all, I'll be using OpenCV version 2.4.5 and Java CV.5 versions for all my tutorials. If you don't know how to configure your PC to work with the Java CV, then watch my other tutorials of installing and configuring Java CV. Okay, now let's uh, start with the first program. It's just loading an image file, doing some image manipulation operations and saving those image files. Okay, now let's begin. Okay, now click on File, New, Java Project. Project name is Java CV1. Click on Next. Uh, and click on Libraries, Add External Jars. It's Java CV, CPP. Linux, Windows and click on open, auto export, select all, click on finish. Okay, now create new class, Java CV1, click on finish. Okay, in here I'll just import all the library files required for the Java CV operations. Okay, now for loading an image file uh, and just write IPL image IMG equals CV load image this function uh, accepts one uh, argument that is the location of the image variable and name of the image location of the image and name of the image that is location will be default the project directory and the name is ev.jpg with a uh, extension that is dot jpeg extension the next one is create another uh, another variable to store the hsv image that is ipl image hsv img equals cv create image this function accepts three arguments one is the dimension that is cv get size IMG okay in here it is size S is capital size IMG the another one is the depth IPL depth eight unsigned or eight U comma and the last one is the three that is channels so okay the first argument is the uh, dimensions of the image file that will be same as the loaded image the second one is the depth how what kind of a depth or how much depth should the image file will, should be that is 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit the last one is the channels that is three channel image since hsv image is a three channel image i'm allocating three channels for uh, hs storing the hsv image okay, next one is to store the grayscale image that is IPL image gray IMG equals the same thing see so create image and uh, only the thing is uh, since the grayscale image is one channel I'll just allocate one channel for it okay next to convert the image file into HSV image another function CV CVT color that is CV convert color this function uh, accepts three arguments that is first one is the source image IMG second one is the destination HSV IMG the third one is the function to convert from one uh, channel to another channel that is BGR to HSV image from one color channel to another color channel okay this function will convert the uh, BGR that is loaded image will be in the form of blue green red format will be converted into HSV format hue saturation value the image file and the destination the converted image will be stored in the HSV image destination the next one will for converting the grayscale image see we convert color the same thing but here is a gray IMG and CV BGR to gray Okay, this function will convert the BGR blue green red image into a grayscale image and stores it in a gray IMG memory location. Okay. Next, uh, since we have converted these two uh, the images into these two formats, we need to show these images. 
display them. Uh, so CV show image function displays them on a window. Uh, it accepts uh, two pair arguments that is one is the string, another one is the image location. Okay, I'll just convert this into HSV and HSV IMG. This into gray and this into gray image. So, okay, CV show image is a function which accepts two arguments that is, one is the string, the other one is the memory location. Uh, that IMG uh, contains the original image, uh, and HSV contains the HSV image, gray IMG contains the gray image. These are all displayed in a separate window, that is, the window names uh, are indicated inside the semicolons, that is, original HSV and gray. Okay. Uh, now, if I just copy the ev.jpg into the default project directory location and execute this program, the windows will pop up and will be closed automatically. That means instantaneously without any delay. Okay, so in order to introduce a delay, there's another statement called CV wait key. This statement will wait for the user input unless or until it gets a user input from the keyboard it will not execute any other statements below it. So, it will be in an infinite loop until or unless it gets an user input from the keyboard. Okay, once we have displayed these images in the windows, we need to save these images. So, CV save image. This accepts two arguments, that is, uh, one is the name of the image, name of the image file. I'll just, uh, you know, save it as original image first original.jpg with a .jpg extension from IMG. The IMG that is the original image is saved as original and HSV image as hsv.jpg and the gray image is stored as gray.jpg okay now coming to the next part uh, that is once we have uh, you know, loaded the image, converted them into HSV image and gray image, displayed them on the windows and, all and also saved them, uh, you know, we need to release these image files. After doing all the image manipulation operations, uh, before uh, you know, terminating the program, we need to reallocate the memory allocated for image, HSV and gray image variables. So in order to reallocate the memory, CV release image, it's a function which reallocates the memory or deallocates the memory from the IMG variables, from the image variables which we have loaded, HSV and gray IMG. This will deallocate or freeze, free the memory allocated for IMG, HSV and gray image. So now let's copy the ev.jpg into the projects directory. It is in here workspace Java CV1. In here, paste this image file. As you can see, minimize and I'll just click on run. Okay, here it is. The original image, the grayscale image in a gray window, an HSV image in a HSV window. All the three windows are displayed. And if I press any key in the keyboard, the program will terminate and the image file will be saved. Program will terminate. And we have here HSV image, gray image, and the original image. All these images are saved in the default location. Okay, one more thing. If you want to save the image file uh, in another path, say for example in a new folder or any other folders which you have created, you just need to copy and paste the path of that folder into the save image function just like that and okay mm, just okay now let's execute the program okay I just close it okay here it is created a new folder and the original image is saved in this new folder. Since I mentioned the path of the original image in a save image function, it's uh, saved in that path. So this can be used to load the image file also. If the image file uh, on the top, here it is. If the image file is in another different, another location, another different location, 
uh, you can just include the path of that location and the image file will be loaded from that path. Okay, that's all for the first tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Visit my website uh, for more updates.